Hey guys, Group Long Way Back. I'm Aaron. I'm Shane. Eric. And we are back with the finale. No. The last. No. The end of Star Wars Rebels. I don't want it to end. Me neither. I've enjoyed Rebels. We just won't watch it. I remember starting with Rebels and being like, who are these? Who are these people? What's yep. going on? That's what I always do when I'm near the end of something with Chuck. I didn't watch the last couple episodes <laughs> for a long time. Uh, same thing with uh, Scrubs. I didn't watch the finale for like a couple weeks. I did it with Kingdom Hearts 2 where I'm like, man, I don't want this to end. And I just didn't be the boss, the, the final end of it. And I thought you didn't beat, beat Kingdom Hearts 1. You know what? Uh, no, I beat Kingdom Hearts 1. You know what? A, a strength of this is that last episode, I was like, all right, the Rebel Alliance is all together. But these are all brand new characters from Rebels that it just feels like, oh, yeah, here we are. We're at the Rebel Alliance, you know? Except for Rex. Well, and yeah, and except Honda. for Rex now. Um, but Honda's new. No. I mean, in terms of like a rebellion, like none of these guys appear in episode four or five or six. Oh, so they know? all die. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> except for Rex. We don't know. Uh, <laughs> with this being a finale, um, who do we lose? Do we lose anybody? Uh, Hero, we can't lose. We can't Chopper, lose Hero, we can't Chopper, lose. Or the Ghost. The Ghost, we can't lose. Yeah. That's all we know. Yeah. And, and Rex, we shouldn't be able to lose if he's going to actually be the old guy. Which I, I think that. So it that's is, four but, things that we can't lose. Yeah. So, Anyone else could be gone. Yep. So uh, what's going to happen with Ezra? Uh, the def making sure the Empire gets off Luthal. I, mean, I like the theme that it's, this isn't about just a rebellion. This is about <coughs> getting Ezra's this homeworld kid, back. You know? Maybe that's what happens is they get it back, and Ezra just stays on his home world, protecting it. Perhaps. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we don't have a poll. We don't have anything else. All we can do is just watch and learn. Ah. Parents. Yep. Mom. Dad, I know what I have to do now, <clears throat> but I'm afraid. Not for me, but for my friends. Ezra, huh. they're bringing her up. Price. Mm -hmm. The day I betrayed your empire, Governor, was the day I finally stopped betraying myself. Yeah. You've given up years. Let us smuggle us. A promising career. Prestige. For what? <coughs> to join a band of failures who don't stand a chance. You're finally going to do the right thing and help free your homeworld. I will do no such thing. Okay, if that's your choice. Wolfie! See, intimidation is a good thing. Or, you could transmit the victory code, and then we could fly to the capital as your prisoners. If the odds <coughs> against us are as bad as you say, what do you have to lose? Fine. I'll do it. I'll just call off your dog. <laughs> Puppies. Very Rob Stark moment. <clears throat> we'll take it from here. They're all yours. <sighs> hey, look out! Gee! Stop it! Don't shoot him! Oh. Open the black door. Oh. Oh. Get that door open. They try to jam their comm system. <laughs> Gun fly. <laughs> 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 Oh, what a great plan! We'll utilize Protocol 13. The Empire's new order for the immediate recall of all personnel to the base for a full evacuation. Mm. Once they're all inside, we'll launch, and it'll be goodbye to the Empire. Spectre 2 to base. We're in, and we've taken the dome. I forgot to tell you. That. <sighs> gave me a Dang it, this guy! He's still around. What are you talking about? Watch out! Mizango! Ah. Wolf, you can do it. Oh. Dang it. I just want the kid. No. Oh, fucker. Oh. Too old. You're just too old, Shadow. Whoa! Yes. Wolf pack, baby! Yes! No! Oh. Oh. He's flying away. Oh! That's what I'm gonna like in Duke. That's gonna cause problems. <laughs> oh, he saved the boy though. Yeah. I expected Governor Price to fail, but not so completely. 
<laughs> you must get inside and deactivate the shield generator before the rebels lock down the Imperial Dome. <laughs> then, wait. I'm already en route. Ah, oh, Thrawn's coming back. All units have returned to their duty stations and the dome is now secure. Hera, start the launch cycle. Sabine, set the self-destruct. Launch? We do have a way off this thing before it explodes. Right? That's where the ghost comes in to pick us up. <clears throat> this is gonna be problematic. That's the chimera. Shutting down the launch cycle. No, you can't just sit here. Thrawn is holding position directly overhead. If we launch the dome, we'll crash into his ship and destroy the entire city. Why would I surrender when I hold your entire army prisoner? No. You've simply moved my assets to a safe position. So that I can bombard the civilians of your home without incurring the Imperial casualties. <sighs> Open fire. Why do they always have the demonstrator bowing? Save his planet. Hera. <sighs> Over here. Would you have my back for anything? You, you know? Fuck. Oh, wow. Okay. My Embra, I have brought you Ezra Bridger. My dear boy, I've so wanted to meet you. It's young Palpatine. And here you are, at last. He has his face on again. How's he do that? Is it that Sith alchemy? Yeah, huh. I don't know. That will be all, Grand Admiral. Hmm. I apologize for not being there in person, but governing the galaxy takes up much of my time. I had this portion of the temple moved here stone huh. by stone for you. Forgive me, but I would have thought you would thank me for this effort. Allow me to offer what might have been temptation. And what yet may be. Mm, go back to time and save him kind of thing. It's cool hearing Chancellor Palpatine again. Yeah. You know, he's not playing the Emperor right now. They are waiting for you. Go to them. Open the door. This is what you want. The gateway will not be open forever. Go now, before it's too late. No, this is a lie. They died, I, I felt it. Ezra! There he goes. This is the bravest rebel. I'm not back. Oh no! Oh, I didn't think you'd get shot. Oh god, man, it sucks. Careful, Hondo. Melch! What were you thinking? Yeah. No, 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 no. Hey guys. No, Gregor! Gregor! Yeah! Get that shield up. <coughs> Even from across the galaxy, you can do that. Yeah. The control for the gateway. Activated, and you can be with your family again. Again. Okay. <coughs> I have to let you go. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> oh. Oh shit! Okay. Destroy him. Imperial Guards! They had the force pipes. Oh! What? Force pipes are powerful, I guess. It's like Ray. Yep. Grab that rock. Oh dang. Okay. 
little bastard! <laughs> oh! Oh shit! With his feet! Batteries prepare full scale bombardment of the city. On my command. Don't wait on me! Jump! No, he's there! Jump! Jump, Jump. 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 Oh, Yes! This is a terrible fate for him. <laughs> Fire! Get that shield out. The shield is holding. The city is safe. For now. Sir, they've engaged the shield. They've destroyed the blockade. Our ships are just gone. I think it's the whales. Captain Pallion. Pallion? What? They came out of hyperspace. I've never seen. It's the, the whales. whales. I can't believe these whales came they look back. Look at Cthulian beasts Dude. <laughs> coming from space to destroy you. <laughs> I call the whales! I love the whales! What did, what did Bindu say about Thrawn's death? Arms reaching out you in the cold? Or something, right? I don't want to lose Thrawn. It's like the beast. Pretty good, huh? There's no air. Ezra, Ezra, get out of there right now. That's an order. Hera, I have to see this through to the end. Dang it, Ezra. And remember, the Force will be with you. Always. Where did they go on? I think they would instantly die, wouldn't they? No, the... I think they're okay. Are they're the pressure, shields up? For Kanan and Ezra. Good riddance, Bryce. At least she goes out like that. If you're watching this recording, then I owe you an explanation. There were several paths in front of me. While this wasn't the one I wanted to take, it's what I had to do. I couldn't have wished for a better family. I can't wait to come home. And if the Empire wants a fight, we'll be ready for them. Could have used all of your help a while ago. I know, right? <laughs> <coughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whoa! Man, look at that. It's fucking Fantasia. X-Wings! And with a decisive victory at the Battle of Endor. Oh. The Emperor's reign of terror came to an end. He's old. After the war, Zeb took <laughs> Callus along the secret hyperspace path to the planet Lyrasan. Hera fought in the Battle of Endor, as did Commander Rex. By that time, there had been a new member added to the crew of the Ghost. Spectre 7. Jason Sindula. Jason. Jason. Born to fly, just like his mother. And well, we all know what his father was like. It's Cadence. What? And they bang. I realized there was more to it. There was something else I was meant to do. Soka. <gasps> oh, fuck. Ezra's out there somewhere. And it's time to bring him home. I love that shot. Man. <laughs> Let's get to the credit <laughs> section. <sighs> Man, it finds us who Chopper's voice by. <laughs> uh. 
Best Marshall. Dude, they did like real credits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> it says Dave Filoni. I've always said it. Ugh. You son of a bitch, Dave. I always knew he was Chopper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Oh man, we're back. Ahsoka is fucking Ahsoka the White. <laughs> Dude, she's still around after Endor. Yeah. They just put her at the inn, you know? Yeah, I mean. That she's, yeah, she outlasted the Emperor. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Well, my, my gut reactions, I'm amazed, but when I <sighs> kind of think about it, I'm like, well, what the fuck was she doing during all the fighting she's, when we needed she's, the Jedi? She's busy. It's not, that's not her destiny. Yeah. I mean, she could have been other places. She could have been doing other mm -hmm. things. She could have been hiding out. <clears throat> yep. Now, one thing I was thinking about is, like, she's about Ahsoka, and she's like, I know you're still out there, and we're going to find you. It makes me think back to whenever they were leaving the time space area. It's like, when you get back, come and find come me. Come and find me. She had a promise, I will. So I wonder if that's more of what yeah. it meant, rather than come to Lothal and help, it meant more of, like... Like he, maybe he already saw some he, of his paths coming. He knew coming. he was doing this. You know, like he he had those different visions and stuff. He's like, I know what we need to do in the temple and all that stuff. I, I think that means that Thrawn and Ezra are still yeah. alive, <laughs> somewhere. I mean, maybe not Thrawn, but I think Ezra definitely is. I mean, he said he needed to see this through. I so mean, I the don't know about the Thrawn, bulkhead but... windows were they broken? They were all broken. But he was holding everything together in the Force too. I wonder if he did that. So I thought he was holding Thrawn where he couldn't get escape, and then he was holding those doors shut behind. But he was him. All, all the glass was. Was floating? Like, was floating? Yeah. Too. I, I thought think it was because of the hyperspace, maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. We well, I mean, it, and every time the Star Wars when the window broke, I mean, they had that invisible force field. That yeah, but else. it could just be the matter of the, so, the attack of the ship causing that the malfunction. Yeah. Well, you also had arms reaching through it. Mm -hmm. You know, like, there's got to be something yeah. breaking that force field. No, stuff. I think Ezra was holding everything in place. <clears throat> but, I mean, if, if, if Ezra is alive, that means Thrawn could be alive. Yeah, I'm going to theorize that they're both still alive. And if we can, if, if that's the case, and we have something with Ahsoka and, and stuff after episode six, that could be the next thing, you know? I'd love that. Yeah. What was, what was it you said that there's something that they, uh... Good for Ashley Eckstein for her to come and be able to, no. like, have this character that people hate at first and has, has been permeated mm -hmm. and, and woven throughout all the movies now. Didn't you say there was something that they, uh... They trademarked, they trademarked? Star Wars Resistance. But no one knows what it is. It could be a video game. It could be a shitty mobile game, you know. Yeah. But it could be the next thing. I'm just so curious because, like, they made Dave Filoni, like, head of animation mm -hmm. or whatever, you know. Yeah, he's and definitely doing something. they only got one show. Like, they got to be bringing out he, more, well, He right? says, we're going to hear about it soon. He just said that in an interview, like, a couple days ago. He said, you're going to hear about his next project very soon. Dude, I can't believe we jumped forward to... After, after Endor. Endor. Yeah, I'm yeah. really shocked, honestly. I didn't. I just didn't think we would. So like we had, Hera was fighting in that, which is crazy. They go back and make a special edition. They add the ghost flying to. Good, <laughs> you know. That's what I want. And it. then they said Rex was there. Rex was oh, there. Rex. They are basically just like, yeah, Rex. Well, that's he's the old guy. <laughs> it's canon. It's canon. W was Zeb also fighting with them? I wonder. Uh, it seems like Zeb went to pop repopulate his people. Yeah, he went back to the Lasats with. with uh, Callus. I Callus, love him taking Callus. Because Callus, like, they have that whole thing about him destroying uh -huh. the Lasats, which was like his big, like, I'm the villain, Lass yeah. you know? And then it kind of, like, like haunts him a little bit, I think, yeah. later on. Mm -hmm. And it's good for him to, like, I was getting te teary eyed during that part of just, yeah. like, you know, knowing, yeah, I was knowing he wasn't, that he didn't kill them all and that they accept him now. And well, just that, that they, ex yeah, that they became friends made me pretty emotional. Uh, and just. Jason, is that what the C? <clears throat> I don't know. Jason Sandula. Jason Sandula. Which is interesting. He didn't look that old. I mean, it would be... What would we say earlier? Say about seven years. years old? Yeah. Maybe? After Return of the Jedi? Yeah. Huh? I mean, it's Return of the Jedi is about five years, roughly, I think, after episode four. Somewhere in that range. So you also have, you know, if he was 16 up until 19, there's three years there. So you could say he's around seven Maybe six years old. I don't know if it is five in between. When did four they bang? And six. Sometime before. Yeah, it been before. So you're saying. We just never saw it. All right. Maybe it was midichlorians. Well, because they profess each other's love before. Now, you yeah, know. but you can bang without professing love. I would never do that. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just glad that. I don't know when that happened, but I'm kind of glad it did. I wonder if there was anything seated before. Well, obviously, something was seated before. Yeah, but I wonder if there was. <laughs> I wonder if there was anything seated that was like, oh man, is she pregnant? 
but I never got that feeling, you know? Well. Okay, wait, what does that kid look like? I can't remember. He has green hair. Mm -hmm. um, Empire is set three years after A New Hope, and then I think it was only like a year or so between those, uh, the, the so last two. Cause say four Hulk, years, yeah. maybe five at most. Yeah. And then you have roughly three years from now to A New Hope. Roughly. Yeah. Okay. Like, I don't know exactly how old Ezra is, but if we're going, like, he's the same age as Leia and Luke, mm -hmm. and Luke's 19, if we say Ezra's, like, 16, Four. maybe 17, you know, you got about, <clears throat> you got him being about maybe seven years old. Like, it's like Leon's age. Yeah, so look at his ears, the tinted green a little bit on the on the ends. Okay. He doesn't have any Leku or anything, but, I mean, it's a, it's a human <coughs> Twilight hybrid. So, does he uh, have a lightsaber? I don't know what that is. Someone has belt on the side. Chopper's still there. So yeah. what I'm wondering is uh, if there's a chance it could be, because it's taken on mostly human traits, I wonder if they can have another baby and take on Twilight traits. Maybe. There was there was hybrids. We just talked about it last yeah. episode. With, with, uh, with the, the farmers. With the farmer. Yeah. It, that had, like, they had, like, short Leku, but they had more, like, uh, like, peach-toned skin that would, like, fade up from them. So all know? humanoids can basically breed. It's, no. Uh, we don't have any. We only have these, this as an example. I thought there was like a Zabrik human thing from before. And I don't remember it at all. No, I guess. I mean, I, that one probably a little more so than Twilix for me. How about a, I would get an Ugnot. <laughs> human Ugnot. <Yeah. laughs> I don't know if you count there. <laughs> you can have that. Dude, I was thinking about this because uh, <clears throat> I thought about because of Admiral Thrawn having it on his desk and whatnot. But like the time, like as you're going there to see his, his parents and whatnot. That's the same temple that they had gone into before when Kanan fought, like, the guards, right? Mm -hmm. His old guards that yeah. he was a part of or whatever. I wonder if it had anything to do with, like, the time aspect of that temple, of, so why he saw that. Or when if it the Inquisitor. Was more, huh? Yeah, back when yeah. the Inquisitor was drowned. Or if it was more just related to, like, Luke fighting Vader in that tree on Dagobah, you know? I wonder which yeah. way it's more similar to. Um, <clears throat> with it having some time aspects of yeah, being I brought mean, in his past. Obviously, Palpatine needed Ezra to activate it. He couldn't do it himself somehow. <laughs> Uh, I loved that. Well, the temple they couldn't get into. Like, it was a Jedi temple, right? Yeah. Like, they needed them to open it. Yeah. I, I loved that uh, Palpatine used a false vision of himself, you know, a, a false hologram. You know, he, he took on that angelic form, you know? Like, uh, the, the angelic form of Lucifer or Sauron appeared to the elves <coughs> as this beautiful person mm -hmm. and sed seduced them, you know? And, uh, I mean, speaking of Tolkien, too, I mean, Ahsoka is straight up... Carrying you know, a staff they could make and dressed her... all in white, and you know she literally comes back as Gandalf the White. They could have her interact with Luke. Uh, it's possible, yeah. And she could tell uh, Luke all kinds of things, mm -hmm. and she can really inform the new Jedi too. It's possible. Yeah, I don't know what they could do with her. Mm -hmm. They could flesh out that time period with a character that is from the prequels. You know, and that's fucking <laughs> awesome. I wonder if. Like, if, if she's there now after Endor then, like, we saw the ghost of Anakin talk to Luke. Like, what if the ghost of Anakin talked to Ahsoka? It's, it's possible. I mean, he's he's one with the Force. He could do that. Gosh, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Like, and then, and then like, then you could have Ahsoka. That'd be so cool. Then you could have Ahsoka and Luke, like, had that conversation about, like, what his father mm -hmm. was like. Kind of like what Obi-Wan said about, sure, you know, yeah. the greatest pilot in the galaxy and all this stuff. Yeah. Like, he, she knew him really That's well, what just I'm like Obi-Wan did, you know? They could have that conversation, which I think would be <clears> awesome. I, you know, I feel like that's some comic book stuff right there. It's weird because the resistance, I was like, you know, I, I, I just want to go back and see more stuff from the old Republic. And, but the idea of seeing Luke in the, the like old Luke in a new academy, that's really cool. Especially now that Ahsoka is alive, Ezra's alive. Have Mark Hamill voice himself like in between episodes six and seven. Yeah. Like, wouldn't that be sweet? And then you have Jason Sandula too, the son of Canon. Oh, um, you went after the credits. I was going to see, like, that was Ian again, wasn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, 100%. I, was gonna say, I, I, just, I thought it was, but I'm like, I want to I wanna make oh, sure. Oh no, that's him. <laughs> There's a couple lines, especially like, uh, you know, the life you deserve. Yeah. yeah that was so Ian. Um, in the very beginning, when Ezra's was talking about family. Oh, yeah. I want you to know everything I've done and will do began with you. Okay, so right before this, then there's... That's when they were saying, talking about... It's when she comes up. About what? Whenever Hera is walking up, she touches her belly. Not for me, but for my friends. They fought so hard, given so much. Right there. 
Like, because every time a character ever does that, you always say, like, she's pregnant, you know? Yeah. And you didn't say it there. I'm just like, hey, Dr. Bell, I'm going to say that later. <laughs> I think she's pregnant. Maybe that's what She it has is. to be, you know? Yeah. It's uh, it's right at 30 seconds that Hera, like, it's, he's kind of Luck. talking about family, too. And she just gets, like, a little, like, like why, why is that there? I don't know. I, I wrote that down to make a joke later. <laughs> and then I just read it. I'm like, oh, shit. She's yeah, pregnant. that makes perfect sense. Aaron's right. Uh... Dude, the music was just on point. This, like, this Kim episode Kim and last episode. They had the best music. They had the best like, music. Like, they just had, there was one part, was it in this one where I swore I heard, like, Harry gave a smile and it reminded me so much of Jen Erso's little, like, the, the trill well, that she has. It reminded it, it me so was, much it, of that. Yeah, it was, duh, na, 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 na. It was that, the classic theme, it was uh -huh. the Star Wars theme, but the Jen Erso theme doesn't ever quite get there. It, it like, it, it kind of goes like, da, na, 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 na. No, you know, yeah, I didn't. Like, I don't think I yeah. heard the whole thing. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I, I felt, it, it felt like it was just kind yeah. of a. It was like um, that kind of trill, very light, sure. very. No, I, I, I get what you're saying. I thought I kind of heard it, it crescendo, but it could have not. And then you, you kind of have that hope thing. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a, it's so great to like. I just want the box Blu-ray of this now. Like it's so yeah. great to have because I just love Clone Wars so much. But we just know real ending. Yeah, you know, I mean this has a beginning, middle, and end. It has just nice, good, complete arcs. Gosh. Man, I own I own the Star Wars movies. I don't know how many different ways, but I've not bought the Clone Wars stuff. I should get those. I haven't either. Buy the Rebels. I haven't yeah. either. Like I just watch Clone Wars on Netflix every time. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I should buy the like the box set of yeah. uh, Clone Wars and then wait for this to come out. I don't know why I haven't. I think we have it, don't we? In the back, Clone Wars. I don't know. I don't remember. I, don't <laughs> I, I like that you know. And again, talking about the Palpatine thing, you know. It's always been speculated or heavily, heavily implied that Palpatine, Chancellor Palpatine, Senator Palpatine, that's his mask. Mm -hmm. And his real face is what Windu brings up, you know? Yeah. And this kind of does another play on that, which I really enjoyed. Yeah. You know, it doesn't really inform exactly what he's doing, because this could just easily be a, a hologram thing, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And it has to be. Yeah, but yeah. it's kind of weird. It's like a little commentary on it. He puts a mask on to trick people. Yeah, I thought it was interesting that they, they had this hologram thing, but then, like, it's like... Like yeah. shifting yeah. back into like Darth Sidious, yeah. and I was like, "Well, that seems kind of yeah." Interesting. He's doing like, motion tracking, and he's I guess I don't know. I was like, "What?" VR, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh shit, this is cool, <laughs> dude. This did not feel long enough, didn't it? Never will. It felt so short. I was like, "There's no way it's over yet, right?" It felt a if yeah, it felt a good length for because it like when it was in the middle, I thought it was the middle. When it was towards the end, I felt like it was the end. Yeah. <clears throat> I really thought, uh... It didn't cut me off like it normally does. <laughs> I, I kept expecting, you know, Ezra didn't take his saber with him. I kept expecting him to get the Kanan's saber. Yeah. You know, yeah, Price had that, color. I thought, right? Yeah, but we never but He can give back. it to his Kanan's son now. Son, yeah. Unless... <gasps> no, Thrawn never came back until then, so Thrawn wouldn't have had it. Price would have had it, so I don't know where it went. Yeah. Unless Hera found it or something, or... I don't know. I don't know. Man. <clears throat> Pretty excited for the future. Like, almost... More than I am in love with this episode, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, uh, there was an EU uh, thing in here where Thrawn said, tell Captain Pelion something at the end here. Where Captain Pelion's a huge character in the books where he was Thrawn's right-hand man in the book, you okay. know? And he ends up being the guy that takes over the Imperial Remnant. And actually, it, you know, it becomes like, the Empire comes kind of like a good force in the galaxy under him, you know? Um... It's kind of cool. Yeah. I think he's dead now. Pelion? <laughs> <laughs> I think the whales killed him. Yeah, it could be. Which, um, hell, that's crazy, the whales showing up, too. Yeah. I love that. Like, oh, like, that's a filler episode, all right. I've <laughs> always it's not loved a filler when, they, when they brought, even actually when I was watching the episode, I, I, it felt like filler. But I always love when they bring up, like, I love the Zillow Beast in Clone Wars. Sure, yeah. I love that arc. Yeah. Like, they're just like, let's do a Godzilla yeah. take. Let's do a, let's do a zombie take. Let's do a fucking Free Willy take. You know yeah. what I mean? But no, I don't Can you imagine they go to a fucking intergalactic zoo and fucking uh, Jason Jarrus, uh, fucking Sindula. Jason Sindula freeze him? You know what yeah. I mean? It's like fucking Free Willy in Star Wars. God. I don't know. You said Pelion was a name? Yeah. I mean, so whenever that popped up, you go, Pelion! I'm like, I don't, I don't remember Pelion. Yeah, it's I don't from the, the uh, heir to the Empire. Heir to the, the Empire, Empire trilogy. trilogy. Yeah. And then, you know, he eventually becomes, you know, Grand Admiral of the, of the Imperial Remnant. And like works together with the New Republic and that kind of stuff. So, anyway, I think I said it before, but I really enjoy the Admiral Thrawn's like his desk and stuff he has. Always has like those lizards. 
like yeah, right behind right, over yeah. his shoulders. Yeah. Yep. I just think it's like a neat little touch of like, you know, they're not, they're not around, but this is like a little nod to that, you know? Well, I mean, honestly, I mean, they can just do a bunch of stuff now that they, you know, like Steve, uh, Timothy Zahn, you know, can take his character after Return of the Jedi and do a lot of the same stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I, I'm going to bet he's alive. Yeah, me too. Um, There's a lot of growth on Ezra, I feel like. Oh, yeah. Like, he absolutely. does so well. Like, I, whenever they're like Commander Bridger and like, what next? And I'm like, man, the thing about back when he was like a street rat just stealing, stealing stuff from Kanan and everybody. Sure. I mean, he's always had that infinity with animals. I just, I wonder how he was like, you know, when I when I put the signal on frequency zero, you come and just eat whatever's there. You yeah, know? No, how do you and know? And fucking grab me, grab us, and take us somewhere, and then we'll those be gone are, for like six years. Those are just terrifying things, yeah. aren't they? Gosh. Yeah. I'm so interested in what comes next. I'm, yeah, me I too. mean, just... Dave really just left me with like wanting so much, you know, wanting more from these new characters. Mm -hmm. Which honestly, I, I I didn't know if I would. Yeah. You know, I liked him. I'm like, that's cool, you know. But now I want more. It's weird if he's planning to have something set place after Return of the Jedi, because like he had the Clone Wars thing they worked on, and then they after that ended, they jumped up to Rebels in between three and four, and now they ended that with a way of going to oh here's Episode mm -hmm. six and seven now area that yeah. we're going to jump to. I was like, I don't know. It's just need to see him like do this and like take to keep rolling characters through each sure. each era you know what i mean you think uh sabine still has ezra's saber probably they probably still have it someone I mean, does we have a sabine and ahsoka adventure <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool jason had it yeah that's true so training jason with yeah. it or something well, well, no. one, of our, be force sensitive. one of our polls from a long time ago is like what is protocol 13 and it's it's Evacuation, getting everybody back to the dome for an evacuation. Mm -hmm. thing, yeah, so. I wrote down in protocol, protocol 13 was evacuation. Yeah. yeah, me too. So I was like, okay. Yeah. You know, it's weird. I, I just, I always, I feel like Thrawn bombing the, civil, the civilians is kind of like a last attempt thing he would do. I feel like it's kind of below him. Like he would always find a way to do something smarter. I right, bomb the civilians, you know. Nah, gonna, I don't, I don't think know. there's anything I'm, that I'm, suggests it would be below him. Well, I mean, what did he have to do there, though? Like, Nothing. They had, That's why I, I, I don't think he would normally do something like that. Like he had to, so he did it, and you know it's fine. But I was like, man, jeez, uh, every guy, every bad guy can do something like that. That's something that everyone would do. Yeah, and he had no other choice. But I feel like that's not something. Like in the books, he he you know he he didn't like needless violence or senseless violence, you know. And he it's, you know Vader yeah, would nothing, Vader would kill people. That wasn't senseless time. violence. I mean that was no, but I it. think it says something about his character that he's not like that twirl your mustache villain. You know, he's got a code. Sure, but, at, I mean, he's he's still the one capable of that kind of thing. I, I wouldn't say, like, Thrawn's not capable of something like that. Someone told me, that, hey, Thrawn no. opened fire on the civilians. I'm like, well, that makes sense. I think it makes sense here, but yeah. Yeah, I, I guess, you know, when I, when I read, because I read the first two books, it, it didn't seem like something that he would normally do. We'd never seen it until now either. Sure. I, I don't know. I mean, if I flipped a page and he suddenly was doing that in Air of the Empire, it wouldn't be out of character for me. You yeah. see the first two books, you talking about the Heir of the Empire book? Yeah. You're not talking about like his book that he has or anything, right? No, he's talking about Heir of the Empire. But no, I haven't read the new Thrawn book. No, I haven't either. Yeah. That takes place before this, right? Yeah, and he's a slightly slightly different character, too. Um, I love hearing the, the Sith theme for Palpatine's yeah. thing, you know, when he when he turns back into the Emperor. Uh, it's just pretty rare we hear the Sith theme in anything else anymore. No, I know. Um, so I, I, liked, I like that. Uh, I didn't really... I guess I didn't really get, you know, Price is actually from Lothal, you know, like her home this is her home world. So it's not only is it just, not only is it just like you know, it's Imperials coming here and taking what they want. It's like they came here, they made a person that's from here governor, and she did this to her own people, you know. Yeah. So this makes it even worse. Yeah. Um, and they gave her a chance too to come back and leave. She's yeah. like, I'm an Imperial. Sure. Until the very end, which is yeah. not very long. Not very the. Long. Uh, the tempting Ezra with the promise of seeing his parents again or, or just seeing the image of them felt very Harry Potter to me. It felt very yeah. like Voldemort tempting Harry or uh, the, the Mirror of Ezred or whatever it's called that shows you something that you really want that you can't have. Yeah, it made me really think of Return of the Jedi, like the, the format of back and forth, the, the battle here, and then uh, Ezra with the Emperor yeah, sure, being yeah. tempted. Yeah. Um, I just meant the temptation, you know? Like everything else has always been like power or changing 
or, or taking, you know, your destiny, you know, and doing what you want with it. This was more of like, this was a promise of changing something that's already happened, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, Palpatine <clears throat> tempts Anakin with, you've seen the future, you can change that. But that's a far cry than like, you know, I can save your mother. That's probably because he you know, knew that he lost this and couldn't use it yeah, anymore, you know? Yeah. So I just yeah. think it's a... Which this, like... At first, I'm like, is, is this like a temptation of trying to get him? Just him? That's what I'm wondering, like, like... But it felt... I think by the end of it, it felt more to me that this was possibly the last gateway he had to get into that yeah. that realm. Yeah. And Ezra just destroyed it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he appeared as this, you know, regal man dressed in white. You know, he's like, you know, you can't say no to this. <clears throat> yeah, you don't you know. want to come to him as like... Hey, I am the devil. Yeah. Like if I Do were this. Palpatine, Do you miss uh, your parrot? <laughs> if I were Palpatine, I think it'd make a lot of sense to give him ev- like because that's such a huge deal mm-hmm. to unlock that realm. I, I would have given him Lethal. I would have given him everything. Yeah. I think that would have been a kind of a better tactic. So rather than the parents be like, "We will leave Lethal if yeah, you we'll leave Lethal. We'll give you everything." You know what I mean? You can see your parents yeah, but, again. But yeah, plan anyway. we, we want peace. We just want. I mean. He did say, like, we, we want order. I mean, he, I think he explained it the best way he could. I'm just saying, like, I would have threw all the cards on the table. Yeah. So we'll give you everything. Yeah, I, I, mean, I think it works so well because he had just gotten through at the beginning of this episode saying goodbye to his parents and talking about how mm-hmm. everything he's doing and he's going to do is based on them and yeah. you know, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So having that moment there, he's like, no, this is what has to happen. Yeah. I'm uh, pleasantly surprised we didn't lose more people than we did. Yeah, me too. Like, Kanan is the only one of the actual crew that's passed, and then we lost Gregor. Gregor, yeah. yeah. Which was pretty sad. And the other night didn't even go. Yeah, I know. He just got up and was fine. It almost kind of took away from what happened to Gregor for me a little bit. Fine for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I like uh, when Gregor was down, he was like, you know, I'm glad that we got to fight for something we, we chose, chose to believe yeah. in, you know? I was like, oh, man, I love that from, like, hearing that from a clone. I mean, they were so <laughs> hurt and, you know used by Order 66, you know, that everything they fought for was for nothing, you know? Well, and they were bred for a war yeah. that they didn't choose to be I mean, they were implanted in war, with a chip you know? that gives you no choice. But this time they got to choose. I, I like I, I like. I mean, they had some sense of choice before being in the war. You mean Order 66 specifically? Uh, yeah, I mean the implanted biometric chip yeah. that they have. Well, I would say, like, they were born into this yeah. war that they didn't choose to be in, yeah. and they have to be in it, or else, they, you yeah. know, it's, if they leave, it's, you know, they mm-hmm. were in trouble. And then you move on to Order 66 where they have no choice and they have to yeah. take out these Jedi and do all this stuff. And then these ones are the only ones that were freed from it because they got that chip out in time, sure. you know? But for them to be just on this planet, walking around in the desert, surfing for graboids mm-hmm. and fishing for them, yeah. you know? To be able to, like, well, we'll fight for this. Um, we had just randomly and very coolly Imperial Guards show up. Mm-hmm. Like and that stick that picked them up and yeah, force force spikes. Spikes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I kind of wish they had their their robes on, but I understand that that's really hard to do in animation. So they just didn't have them on. They were more battle ready. Red you know? armor. But uh, this is this is cool little imagery because we just had you know the last movie just had a great the Praetorian guard fight. You know, mm-hmm. this gives you a lot of cool imagery to have uh, yeah. Ezra have to deal with. So, but I mean, he beat them all. Um. <laughs> I can't believe those stormtroopers just couldn't shoot him. No. It's... They cannot shoot him. <laughs> they just shot, shot by him. Nah, that, yeah. <clears throat> I love the way Jim Cummings goes, Pigs can fly. <laughs> yeah. Throwing... Pigs can fly. That's funny. They made a pigs can fly joke. Yep. <laughs> That's funny. And it was great. Oh, not a pig. Um, I want to look up... I wonder that speciesist, you know, to I don't refer know. them as pigs. You know what I'm <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to look up, what did the Bindu... Say to Thrawn, because he said something about like either dying or being defeated by many hands or something like that, right? Cold hands. What did the Bendu say to? And he was about to shoot him. Yeah. Was it during the Battle of Atolan where he says that? Yeah, you cannot see, but I can't see. What? What can you see? I see your defeat, like many arms surrounding you in a cold embrace. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Nothing about I, I see your defeat, not death, but defeat. Yeah. Like many arms surrounding you in a cold embrace, is exactly what happened. Yeah. You know? That's awesome. I love that little seating of that. I, I searched it for a second and found it, but you just found it. <laughs> I just went to YouTube. There. Uh, here's the scene right here. So that's that, that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, mean, I, was, I mean, I love Dave Filoni, man. Mm hmm. I mean, I, I, I mean, like. 
I mean, if I have to be super critical, the only thing that I find a little bit convenient or, you know, do X machine or whatever is the, the whales kind of just showing up at the exact moment they need, they're needed and um, yeah. in that. And it's like, well, he, he, had, to, he, he, had, he had to have pre-planned this and somehow. Didn't, and he didn't tell the plan to anybody. I always hate when they don't tell the plan to everybody. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. I mean, if he told people, they probably wouldn't let him do it. You know, he, he, he'd remove the choice from them and give it to himself when he does that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> kind of like Poe, but yeah. Yeah. But, you know, if, if there's any kind of criticism to throw in, it, it's like, well, that's convenient that that happened. Yeah. Yeah, but they sent someone to get them, to bring them back. Versus, like, at least they had that rather than just, like, they just showed well, up. Well, they went up know? into orbit and then put the thing in the frequency and then the whales show up then, right? Mm -hmm. Like, how does Ezra know where the whales are? How long how does he so get there? How's he so sure he'll get that? Yeah, I mean. You know, like... He he kind of knew this stuff was happening, but Thrawn got there right at the right moment too. You know, did they respond respond to that to a frequency whenever they were flying around with him before? I don't remember. Uh, I know that him, Ezra had a thing where he was like, looking into the giant eyes. They used him during the gas planet, yeah. right? So when they were taking out the uh, the fuel depot. Yeah, because they ate yeah. the, the fuel and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I mean, having that experience with them, understanding how they work more, so sure, send someone up and send it out. Like yeah. I don't think it's too. No, I, I mean. Like I said, I'm really cool with it. It's just like the timing thing is just convenient, but yeah. you have to when you have kind of these kind of stories, you know? Mm -hmm. no, of course. So, um, but other than that, you know, nothing, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, Another f I just can't believe we went so far into the future. And me, me, I know. Lothal looks amazing. It looks like Outeron before it was destroyed, you know? Yeah, it looks like fucking Wizard of, like, you know, Wizard of Oz. And that means the Empire never, never came back. It reminds me of a... Uh... Never ending story. Didn't they have some kind of crazy white yeah. towers like that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess, yeah, I guess the Emperor never came back. The Empire never came back. Or the people defended it. Mm -hmm. Or oh, the Jedi Temple's mm -hmm. also not there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think there's too much reason for them to want that planet yeah. where they could take other stuff more so, you know? Stardust and Jetta and all the other things they were doing. Yeah. Well, the ship. If you can find the uh, Ahsoka at the end where she's standing in front of a ship, is it the ship that her and Anakin always used to use? It's like the big fin tail with the thing in the middle. It's the one. It was the one that's flying right. Uh, let's see back here. Where is it? Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. We're in Sabine's standing on that. Yeah. Right here. Yep. <clears throat> there's two. Uh, there's two X-wings and another ship that come flying by. Where's the grass at? Just still in brown ass plains. See, it's funny because yeah. it's colored and it reminds me a lot of, like, kind of like a Republic ah Ahsoka's design or yeah, Shock kind of, kind of like, like her Starfighter. Yeah, I, yeah, but that thing, like, when they're in battle or in other kinds of flight, I think it turns, and I'm I'm pretty sure that's kind of close to a Clone Wars ship that Ahsoka and Anakin would always take. Kind of when they got they got away from using the Twilight. You remember the Twilight ship they had for a while? Mm-hmm. They kind of got away from using that, and they would have ships like this when they would go on like diplomatic missions. Really? Yeah, it, it reminds me of it at least. I don't remember it from anything else either. The Twilight is that the one that had the like the box with like some yeah. fins off of the it? The Twilight was kind of like it had kind of like an E-wing shape to it, but it was kind of janky. They found it on that moon. Yeah. With the things, and they, they used it a while <sighs> at the beginning of the series, but they eventually kind of stopped using it. But and they would every once in a while use these kind of ships. Kind of reminds me of the ship that Anakin. Takes from the Jedi Temple to the Chancellor's office in Episode Three too. A little bit. Anyway, okay. Um, you guys got anything else? Uh, no, I mean that part where uh, um, Zeb was talking on the intercom, like you better call back. He's busy at the moment. Yeah. You know when? Yeah. When? Kind of remind me of when, a little bit. Yeah. I like that. When Rug was dying. Mm-hmm. Who? He wouldn't die, man. It took him three times to die. Yeah. Well, Davis, he's, he's crawling his way back up. <laughs> yeah. Those big fingers he has. Grabs on you. Ah! <laughs> yeah, those are terrible, man. <laughs> um, no, no, just I loved it so much. Yeah. Glad I got a good ending. Uh, and also, it makes me more excited for the future. Yeah. Like, when I heard about this show, I'm like, damn it, the fucking Clone Wars are giving me this shit. And now I, I love this. Mm -hmm. I'm actually more excited about the new stuff coming sure. out than I thought I was going to be about this, even mm -hmm. though I love this. Well, uh, we have to check out what you guys were saying on Twitter, uh, at BlindWaveProd, hashtag Rebels Q&A. So, uh, this is going to be the last Rebels Q&A. So let's see what you guys were talking about. 
Oh, you want to see me with Floney? I looked up some Floney stuff. Yeah, let's do this first. All right. Um, what was this from? Kevin Velasquez. I remember this in something. I can't remember what it was. Like, Ten bucks, Filoni's pitch for the finale was, come on, guys, we could use whales. Whales. <laughs> really? I remember that in something like that with, like, Aquaman. Like, guys, Aquaman has an idea again. Like, we could use whales. He's, like, way out in the water. Whales. <laughs> I don't remember what it was in. I forget. I don't recognize that one. I, it was, like, a parody. Bit, sure. One of those, you know, like. Uh, Robot chicken or something. Yeah, like, like, something like that. Um, Cad says, Cad Bane, uh, Final episode question: Do you guys think that the next TV series will involve some of these characters? Yes. They better. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I sure hope so. Um, even if they did more like this, where like Ahsoka was involved, mm -hmm. but she wasn't like a main character. I no. Mean, she was in a good she bit of season two. Yeah. But that was about it, you know. Mm -hmm. But they still had more. And same with Rex. Like yeah. Rex just kind of showed up here and there, you know. But he wasn't like a main character either. I mean, I if they're gonna do something like Resistance, they can. They can explain more about who Snoke is. They could they could talk about Knights of Ren or what that is. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many yeah. opportunities, and you can have a character like Ahsoka who just looks like a fucking grandmaster now. You know, yeah, be a background presence that offers you know advice. Yeah, which that goes with Kevin. Kevin says one mystery solved, while many others left unanswered. And he has a post that shows Dave Filoni as Chopper. Mm -hmm. But here's hoping we haven't seen the last of the Ghost Crew. Where do you think Star Wars Animation Studios will take us next? Um. Definitely after Return of the Jedi, yeah. if that's you know if they continue with like a show like this, you know they could just go completely different. You know, I'll be interested to see what the <laughs> art style and stuff is. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, what do you think the art will look like? I imagine it'd be more uh, similar to this than, than yeah. Clone Wars. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, Cole says, "Don't worry about Thrawn. Looks like he's joining Vader." And apparently, they've announced a Thrawn Alliances by Timothy Zahn book. Oh, okay. Which has him and Vader on the cover. So Thrawn at least got away? I don't know. Before then? I mean, this could also take missing? place some other time in between maybe the book and this. This could be before this. Some thing, other, yeah. yeah, some other okay. time frame. But, well, Thrawn as a character in that time period doesn't have to end just because his his defeat, you know, yeah. is, is has happened now. You could have something take place before this. Yeah. Still there. I don't know. Uh, Brenna House says... This is this is fucking crazy. Rex was on Endor. Yeah. And Ahsoka looks badass. Mm -hmm. Do you think they were setting up a sequel series where they go find Ezra? Still a chance Ezra could be DJ from The Last Jedi. <laughs> no. That's a worse fate for him now than yeah. it was when I heard about the first time. And then he says, was Ezra DJ thing ever confirmed or denied? I don't think he's DJ at all. No. Like, no, at, absolutely not. At, I mean, at, at all. I think uh, Lucas... I, I think it's much more like he's Plagueis than DJ. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the story group said he absolutely was not DJ. Hey, it's a travesty. They have to, ask, they have to clarify Yeah. <laughs> that, that theory. How dare you? I love you, though. Thanks for watching. Uh, Brandon says, not a question, but I love the line, it's like having the wolf pack back. It hit me hard. Mm -hmm. And also when Gregor died. Yeah. 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 <laughs> A picture of Dave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it says, uh, it's Look Daniel says, post indoor. I wonder what happens to Thrawn and Ezra. So much information to process. It's amazing. Ahsoka Sabine going to find Ezra. Confirmation that the old rebel is Rex. Jason Sindula, which he spelled J A C E N. All this with the crew still alive. Dave Filoni is the man. And he puts a post of. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great picture. Dave Filoni. Yeah. yeah. That's how it was a celebration when he came out. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Austin B. Wow. I'm still up with so many questions. So are we getting a new animated show that takes place after the original trilogy? And if Ezra did survive that jump to hyperspace, are we to assume Thrawn did too? Oh, I love Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'm sure a lot of these questions are going to be very similar in terms of what comes, what happens next. Because mm -hmm. this isn't just like end. It's not like Rogue One. Everybody's fucking dead and you know what happens next. Yeah. yeah. It's like... Everyone's alive, and I don't know what happens next. You know, yeah. it's the opposite of Rogue One. Yeah. Cru Crusader says Ahsoka and Luke could could have met and talked about Anakin. That's something yep. I need to see. Oh, know? I know, I know. We we talked about that. I would love it. And then he says, "Good job, round of applause, Dave Filoni. Can't wait to see what next gifts he gives us." Mm -hmm. All right, let's see about questions here. Isaiah Zayman just says, "Would you like a TV series about Ahsoka?" To see what she has been doing. Um, I, I like to see what she's doing. I don't know if the character would be served well if it was a starring her. But maybe a second Ahsoka book would be cool. Uh, 
But yeah, I don't think she requires her own series. I think that a character like that is better left as like a wise master. You're using her like for someone sparingly. Else. She's like, like they an do. amazing supporting character yeah. Yeah. to like either direct or yeah. I guess influence other characters that we see along the way. I mean, right? you know, right yeah. here she's she's fucking Gandalf. Gandalf's not the main character of Lord of the Rings. It's Frodo. Yeah. And he comes in and he guides, you know? Yeah, like however they're using her. What the hell her. is that stick she got? It's her wizard <laughs> staff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the way they're I mean, using you know, her here is perfect. Yeah, you know, Dave Filoni makes no. Uh, he says like Tolkien directly influences me. I mean, that is Tolkien right there. I, it's there's no way it's not. Well, I mean, she goes with the white sabers, you yeah. know. She goes in the very like that gray yeah. area, you know. It's, mm -hmm. it's so good. Speed King says, after four years of this show, are you guys happy with the ending? And do you think we will ever see Ezra and Ahsoka again? Uh, yes and yes. When you open, when you leave your story open like this, it's it's to keep the stories coming. So yeah. Are you guys happy with the ending that we had with y yes. where this took us to? Yeah. I think I am too. I think it wrapped up really well. I'm sad to see it go. I know I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. I'm that certain. I, I mean, when I was watching it, I was emotional the last part of it, but I'm you, just as excited that Dave Filoni got to finish the story. You know, you know what hit me? Yeah, right. Yeah. You know what hit me was that um, during the part where like Hera had a a line where they were flying off just before it showed the crowd, and I'm like, oh my god, don't end here. I don't feel. Yeah. I don't feel yeah, fulfilled. I, know, I don't feel like, fulfilled. Yeah. And then they cut to like seven years later. Right. You know, and they're like, I'm like, oh, and then I'm like, oh, God, this feels yeah. so good now. But there was just that small. I forget, what did she say? The Empire will never come back to this, or something like that, right? Like, right here, sure, yeah. right? Who the hell were all these people? There's this many people, they could have stormed the Imperial facility. Just yeah. through numbers alone. Yeah. Right, and it's right here. Looks like the people are with you. And now they are. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. I'm like, oh my god, this feels like an end. And that could be like a dun 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 dun. dun yeah, no, you know? but I'm like, I don't want it to like, end. Oh, Please don't end. I don't feel fulfilled. And then it cut to the next part. There's like, if they want to fight, we're ready for them. I'm like, oh, that's not enough. Yeah. I know. And they gave me just a little bit more, and I'm like, that's so much better. They gave me enough, so much more to push me up and over the top. Yeah. At first, I was like, oh, that was good. But the ending just. Uh. I also love how it's like in the new movies and stuff. It's like we all, it, the galaxy's too small to show. The old aliens and stuff. And Dave Filoni's like, ah, Rodian, 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 Rodian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the ending reminded me of, like, Rogue One. Like, I was satisfied with the mission being completed. And then they gave me that bit at the end. Mm -hmm. That huge moment for Vader and huge moment for the other character. It was just, well, it put me over the top. So good. Um, Zayman says, what has been your favorite moments uh, from Rebels? Or, and or your least favorite moments? Um... Uh, favorite is you know Twilight of the Apprentice, the the death of Kanan. This Kanan is like one of my top ones of yeah. Rebels. Yeah, the, the Twilight ones are good too. Dude, the the, the Obi Wan. Obi Wan. You know, on the Twin Tatooine. Sons. Yeah, like there's so good. many good moments in Rebels that just influences when, so much of Star yeah. Wars as a whole. Not even just like the era or yeah. Rebels or whatever. You know, like the the Inquisitors. Whenever they they see Maul for the first time, like it's true. The shadow. He's like, well, well. And he pulls out his double blade lightsaber again for the first time. What here. fun! <laughs> what fun! Dude, yeah. I love whenever they just start fucking fl <laughs> flying around. That was my oh, favorite. That's my God, favorite. That's, that's so my fucking good. Favorite stuff. I hope they bring that back in some movies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah speaking of <laughs> stuff I don't like, yeah, there's that. that. I mean, I, I notoriously didn't love, you know. Making Sabine great at absolutely everything, including lightsaber fighting and stuff. Yeah, you know? I love that. And they, um, they kind of dropped it. Yeah. You know, um. I love they, Every time Hondo was in. Though. They went huh? to training her, though. Sure, no, I get you. Um, every time every time Hondo was in the episode, that was. Hondo's like that. good. Those are fun. Yeah. Josh says, the last few minutes had me crying, but Zeb mm. bringing Callus to Lyra San and being accepted by the Lasat killed me. Yep. Erasing that notion he's had for so long that he committed genocide on them. Such a beautiful end to a wonderful series. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. that That's one of my... As far as that last part, like I think that's sure might be one of my favorite parts right yeah. there. Like, Ahsoka showing up is awesome. But them just, like, closing that little gap there of, like, uh, you know, what was it? Season 2 when we had Zeb and Callus mm -hmm. having that, like, that survival in the cave thing and, like, bringing more... Like backstory and character development to callous. Yeah. But sometimes you don't get with villains. Sometimes you just, as a bad guy, you know? It's just felt more. Sure. 
to, like the Inquisitor. They didn't, they didn't do it in the Inquisitor, you know? But they did it to Callus. <clears throat> what do you guys feel about, like, if they do spell Jason, J A C E N, taking the old name that, you know, was the Han Solo son, you know, mm -hmm. and bringing it here, it's, it's really cool. I like that. I think it's cool, yeah. You know? I mean, that kid just was just a kid. Like, he was devoid of any character. I mean, he was going like, yeah. You know, it's like, I don't know anything about him. Yeah. So I can't be like, oh, I bet you he's really cool. It's yeah. Like, you know, but. It's interesting that they they mined that name and brought it over to something so prominent. Which I think is it's the son great. Of canon. Yeah. And you can't be the son of Han Solo. You gotta be the son of Canon. Yeah. Caleb Doom. So Leo says during uh, Rebel Recon, they confirmed that Ezra and Thrawn survived, but their fates are in the air. Mm, okay. What do you think about this, and how would you want the story to be told if it ever is told? I feel like, you know, Ezra sacrificing himself in all these years to capture or keep captive Thrawn is a cool idea. You know, I mean, this is the guy that killed the Bendu mm -hmm. and uh, had his TIE Defender program. I think the Bendu was know. dead. So, uh, I, was just, I don't think the Bendu was dead. He... I he shot him out of the air. He was in the cloud. He, he was there dying, and then he I think he might have like became one with the Force kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because just like Obi Wan and Yoda did, because he just kind of disappeared whenever he went to shoot yeah. him. You know? Yeah. So it might have been something along those lines. Sure. I don't know, because he was a creature. He was something mm -hmm. connected to the Force. Yeah. Then he might have just went and became one with the Force. I'm the one. But no, I think like with the way Sabine talked to there at the end, I feel like. That was giving you confirmation that Ezra is yeah. still alive, which mm -hmm. you then can especially like, yeah. With well, the, Thrawn I don't may still be alive as well, you know. Yeah. Which is having like he's still out there. That's why he said he's like, yeah. counting on me. And we can put Thrawn where he belongs after in the outer episode, realm after episode six yep. in the outer realm. Yeah, outer realm. <clears throat> the outer realm, realm of out outworld. <laughs> yeah. We like him leading the, the the new empire. You know what I mean? With the remnants of the, the empire. Remnant, yeah. Uh, Zayman says, I just want to say it's been an honor watching Rebels with you guys and sad to see it go, but great things must come to an end. I have full faith that Dave Filoni will treat out Star Wars very well. As Ezra and Kanan had said, may the Force be with you. Yeah. Well, thank you, Zayman. Um, the Force will be with you. Tone says, so will the next spawn of Aaron be named Jason Sindula Elliott? <laughs> no, no more spawns. In fact, I gotta have a Michelangelo if there is one. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be Jason Michelangelo. Maybe. And then you can be like, you... Michelangelo J... No. You're but, the father of your do, brother. I might just change the spelling of Leon's middle name. Because his yeah. middle name is already Jason. Yeah. But it's J-A-Y-S-O-N instead of J-A-C-E-N. Oh, yeah. You gotta change that. So I could do that. <laughs> you, already, you already need to change uh, Ayla's middle name. Yeah. So Because hers is Lee Ann, mm -hmm. which is off of our middle names. But we want to change it to Karai. <laughs> <laughs> And Melon's like, well, I thought I wanted it before, but you, you weren't you weren't watching all the Ninja Turtle cartoons, and I didn't think you'd like it as much. I'm like, why don't you just say something? <laughs> I'd go with that immediately. <laughs> He's laughing. Damn! <laughs> uh, for the most part, uh, this is from uh, Conan White Boy. Conan I don't know. Some white Boy. Uh, for the most part, was I the only one expecting more casualties from what we had? That being said, the final minute of the episode was satisfying. Was a satisfying conclusion mm -hmm. to a great series. And then he has Chris Stackelson like, this once, everybody, everybody lives. <laughs> um, I was expecting more casualties, yeah. but I kept waiting for Zeb to die. I'm, I'm I not who I was most yeah. expecting to die was Zeb. Yeah, me too. I'm not upset or like thinking like, well, it's a little convenient. No one else is dead. You know, I don't feel that way at all. No, me either. I mean, we lost Gregor. It was a, it's a big deal. Yeah. Me. I don't know. I mean, that was the one I was like, who was this guy? Gregor? <laughs> yeah, you were like, well, he was, you know, no, he, he was, was this, yeah. yeah, he was this guy, Aaron. I always remembered he was the clone commando, but I can't remember his exact story, but yeah. he's the amnesia. But like, Wolf, I'm like, I know who Wolf is. I'm yeah. like, Rex, I know who Rex is. We didn't lose those guys. Yeah. Gregor, I'm, that's the one I'm just kind of like, which one was he? Yeah. <laughs> I don't quite remember. So for me, like, I'm like, well, that sucks, because there's a clone, sure. I want to keep these clones, but, dude, that means Wolf's still stuck around, so I wonder where he is, or where mm -hmm. he went, or... Dude, what if we just had a story following Rex and Wolf? I guess yeah. That'd be sweet. I yeah, want. Go. I want. You know, if we're gonna have a thing where it's like the search for Ezra B Bridger, I want you know there to be Sabine going, Ahsoka goes, and Rex goes with Ahsoka, because he doesn't know. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know she's still alive. You know. Yeah. That's what I want. That would be amazing. Uh, Tristan says, "I did not want the last episode to end, especially those last three minutes." 
but we now live in a world where we could eventually see Ezra, Ahsoka, Luke, and Leia together. Imagine Ahsoka sitting down with a look and saying, let me tell you about your parents. Yeah. I mean, if you really think about it, Vader or Anakin Skywalker's final resting place is a place we know Captain Rex was at. You know, you could very well have a scene where, you know, Luke buries his father and Rex comes across it, you know, and finds the resting place of Anakin Skywalker. Mm -hmm. it's, it'd be pretty easy to do that, actually. Yeah. I mean, Anakin's ghost was there where that guy's probably partying, <laughs> you know? Yeah. With some Ewoks and shit. I, mean, I didn't really thought about that now. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if he is that character, then you could have had, you know, Luke doing his thing where he's looking at these things, and then Rex comes around the corner, like, oh, you know? Yeah. They didn't say Rex survived, though, did they? He's alive. They said he fought in it. Uh, Karen, yeah, I thought about this, too. Uh, she's just showing, I think it's a she, might be he, I can't kind of tell, but it's a K-A-R-I-N. But it has, like, all the similarities sure, to the very yeah. first episode they had. Definitely noticed that. You know, I, I noticed like whenever they had the ships flying over her, I'm like, that reminds me of mm -hmm. Ezra when he was there. Well, I mean, just the the looking over the railing is very. Well, I didn't think about the looking over the, the railing, but yeah, sure. just as much. But like, just her standing on that thing with the ships flying over, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, that reminds me of that Star Destroyer flying over. Yeah. But I didn't think about her like just like basically one for one of like leaning here, looking around. Yeah. It was all very similar. Uh, Dakota says, guys, was wondering what you were thinking about the possibilities of Ezra's kyber crystal being passed down through the Rebels to Luke since he left his lightsaber with Chopper, which would be the new canon answering where Luke got his green lightsaber. Um, it, it, it could be. I mean, I don't know. I mean, that, that would be cool. I just, I, I always feel like there's been hesitation to, to directly link the animation with the live action. Which I hope it goes away. I mean, I guess in some senses. I mean, we did have in Rogue One, like, General Sandula, you know, being sure. mentioned on the thing yeah. at the yeah. chopper. But they weren't, like, completely direct yeah. influence. It was just, like... Yeah, I can't ever Things imagine. are mentioned on intercoms all the time. People ignore yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, it's... That's not, like, something that happens on set and the director write or the writer's writing it. That's the sound designer being like, all right, what can we do? Uh, I need a name. Sandula, okay, we'll do that. Whatever it is, you know? And in the background, it's like, hey, can you put fucking the ghost in the back? And the guy's like, yeah, I can. give me your model. I'll soup it up and put it in the background, you know? Yeah. But I'm glad that those things happen. Yeah. Um, in terms of, like, is Ezra's kyber crystal the same? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Could be. I mean, that's how yeah. he gets the crystal. Maybe he goes somewhere else sure. on a journey to find it and get it, you know? I, I mean, know. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be, like, super excited if it was or if it wasn't, so. Um, and then GN just says... So, will the new series be about Sabine and Ahsoka searching for Ezra? Which has been a question a lot of people asked about, like, is that just what it's going to be? Or do we have thoughts on, like, something else that they may try to do? And those will be, like, background characters. Which I think is what we kind of mentioned. Mm -hmm. That maybe they could just be background characters. Yeah, I can't imagine mm -hmm. focusing on yeah, that. Because then the show would have, like, a pretty clear end game. You know, it would have a pretty yeah. clear clear ending. Well, I mean, what? whenever you have a new series, you want to have a, a protagonist that, you know, kids, adults, anybody can latch onto and learn <coughs> with, you know? So I, I could see them, you know, like you had the Soka for that in the Clone Wars, a new character that you can focus on and, and be the person that gets and things this, like, Ezra was and that, this was, was Ezra. like, the, the trip. Yeah, if know? you do that and not bring anybody new or have a, a fresh cast, then, you know, you can't really do that. I you can't lock in... You know, you don't want people to feel like, oh, I gotta watch all this other stuff to, to understand. I could see us having like a uh, some kind of series with some new characters uh -huh. or something, where they stumble onto like Ahsoka yeah. or Ezra or whatever, yeah. and the paths are crossed. Like what happened and with then, Maul in, in Rebels? They yeah, just picked yeah. back up with Maul. Yeah, you where know? if you have that other history, you understand more. So, but without it, it still kind of works, sure. and you see like, oh, there's some guy used to have a history, and he's after this Obi Wan guy. You yeah. know. So, like, we, I can see us having something like that where maybe they stumble across Ezra and you get the story from their point of view rather than, like, well, i got to mm -hmm. make sure I watch all of this so I know all of this and all yeah. of this. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's what we're going to have, which I think I would be happy with some new people to see what happens. But mm -hmm. as long as they filter in, I love seeing, like, Hondo show up and I love seeing, like, the people we have history with. Yeah. It just it makes it more rich for, like, the new characters. It's like sure. when I was playing Pokemon Y. Like, I didn't like Pokemon Black and White because it was just all new Gen, like, 6 or 5. But you had like. stuff you can... But whenever I had Pokemon Y, I met, first thing I found was a Pidgey. Second thing I found was a new Pokemon. Yeah. And I was more accepting of all this new stuff sure. with the old stuff. Yeah. yeah. 
So I think that's it'll be something like that. And uh, and man, you know that we will watch and review all of it. That is Star Wars. There's gonna be, there's gonna be a, a live action television show. There's Solo in May. You got Solo in May. You have whatever Dave Filoni. And I can't wait for Dave Filoni to cook up some new stuff. Yeah. But, uh, as long as you use Sam Witwer. Yep. You gotta do that. <laughs> that's the poll. Sam Witwer and everything. Yes. And there's no 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 no. That's there's the poll. One, that's one. the option. That should uh, be the poll. No, um, we gotta think of a poll for for the for the season series finale of Star Wars Rebels. Um, okay, so poll for the finale uh, season series finale of Star Wars Rebels is which was your favorite season? Um, and then down in the comments, make sure you guys are listing your favorite moments. See, this is only be seasons, but your favorite moments. But in terms of seasons, um, I mean, I loved this season. I felt like it went by quick because we had these double episodes every week, you know? Yeah. Um, and and then that we had huge, a big break. And a huge break. But I feel like we just started back up, and now it's over. Um, but uh, it's going to be really hard to top. What was it? Season two. Was it season two? Season two would have been... Twilight the Apprentice ending? Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah two yeah. would have been that. But then you had Twins, Twin Sons in season, season three. three, as um, well as the Ben doing stuff in season three. And the mall stuff. Um, you had everything starting up with season one. Yeah. You met all these new people and find out the end who Fulcrum is. Sure. You know? I and think in terms of like the, wrap up. the emotional payoff and the writing, I probably liked four the most and just wanting to watch the next one, you know? So I'm going to go with four. I want to say two because that's when I really started to love the show mm -hmm. and... It's paying off things that were a decade into making, like Ahsoka and stuff like that. I'm trying to think about three. Three? Yeah, I'm just... Canon being, you know, so blind. Many good ones. And, yeah. yeah. The, 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 all the seasons are good, and I'm just trying to think of what I li like most about it. Like, three had twin sons, it had the Bindu, you know, it had some more, like, like forced type of sure. conversations going on about what, like, what can do what. And then it also yeah. had, like, Sabine stuff in that as well a lot with uh, Mandalore. Yeah. Which I liked a lot of that stuff, too. I like Sabine. Um, okay, well, that's what we think. Make sure you're going there, uh, voting on your favorite season and telling us your favorite moment or anything you want to talk about with Star Wars Rebels. Um, what Star Wars Rebels did for me was it made me realize that I can now say Freddie Prince Jr. is one of my favorite Star Wars actors. Um, Vanessa Marshall killed it as Hera. She's so good. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying more and more like voice acting things yeah. I find her in. Steve Bloom, who has just this huge resume. Of everything he does everything. In. But, I mean, uh, he's he's defined here for me. You know, I think of Steve Bloom. I think of Garabast, you know? And like then, Jim, uh, Jim Cummings. Is, Jim Cummings as Hondo uh, has done a great. I mean, uh, I uh, I can't remember all their names, but Ezra, the kid that plays Ezra, he, you know, Tyler something, I think, or Ho, I don't know what his name is. Something Gray or Trey or something. Yeah, something Gray. Tyler Gray? Tyler Gray. Is that it? Something like that. He's also great. <laughs> Let's say his name right, just in case. Chopper, Chopper's good. Said. A. Filoni is Chopper. I think it's like Tyler Gray. Chopper ended up being a pretty good companion as well. Taylor Gray. Taylor, yeah. Taylor, <coughs> Taylor Gray as Ezra was awesome. Um, and then uh, yeah, Vanessa Marshall's always been great. Sabine. Taya. Taya Sarkar. Sarkar as Sabine Wren. That's like and a then, Star Wars name by itself. Yeah, right? right. <laughs> you could just call it that. Yeah. And then uh, Dave Filoni, <laughs> that guy. You know, we had a, there was a thing in one of the celebrations a long time ago where some kid goes up and is like, who voices Chopper? And he's like, I know, I know your parents sent you up here trying to get information. I'm not giving. So now, and the kid's like, he's like, okay, I'll tell you. And he probably said, it's me, <laughs> you know? <gasps> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> yes, so I, I wonder if that kid ever, <clears throat> ever has spilled the beans. I don't know. Hasn't everyone always said it's Chopper's him? Yeah. This is mad, like all the back the things that we've heard. Like sometimes it sounds like Chopper is saying "What the fuck?" Ah, 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 ah. You know, I just yeah. imagine this thing going like "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> Fix that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's it. Star Wars Rebels, guys. If you want to watch more Star Wars stuff, you are on the right channel. Make sure you subscribe. We'll be doing reviews for Solo, for any other Star Wars television series that are coming out, and for a whole bunch of podcasts where we frequently talk about Star Wars. Check out our Patreon, check out other related videos and stuff down in the description, and we'll see you next time for some Star Wars something. I'm not going to win.